This Black History Month, we want to shine a spotlight on women of science. A group of Miami-based scholars are coming together for coastal communities. Fox Weather's Brandi Campbell got the opportunity to walk us through their honorable efforts. This Black History Month, we're taking a look into an organization bringing black women from around the globe together over science. It all started here in Miami with a tweet. Here are more of those Eastern Pacific corals that we work on. I met Nikki Trailer Knowles in her zone. Her wet lab at the University of Miami, Rosenstill School of Marine Atmospheric and Earth Sciences. She's their first black tenured professor and has big goals. I want to be able to use medical techniques on corals as a way to understand their health and be able to apply that to being able to save coral reefs. In turn, healthy reefs protect coastal communities against waves and storms that could cause floods. And it sheets out and grows, so indicating that it's happy and healthy. What you may not know is, Nikki is part of the 3.2% of African-American marine biologists, according to Zipia. Promoting diversity in her field is another goal of hers. Summer of 2020, in the midst of a pandemic and protest, she made progress. As a professor, I'm still having a lot of meetings on Zoom. <laughs> and a lot of the meetings were centered around how can we make, you know, our community more diverse. And I would always get hit with, well, we can't, you know, recruit what's not there. And I was like, I know that I cannot be the only one. This tweet caught the attention of women alike from around the globe wanting to connect. Fast forward, Nikki started her own nonprofit, Black Women in Ecology, Evolution and Marine Sciences, or BWEAMS for short. And so it's been amazing because I've been able to meet other women that can relate to the struggles that I've had or the, you know, navigating the science area um, in a way that like I can't necessarily relate to some of my other colleagues. Um, and, and but also relate to them with the science. University right. of Miami grad students, Aliyah True and Lise Isma are members, joining others mostly virtually over 60 events so far. It's been so incredibly helpful. There are so many scholarships, fellowships programs that I would not have known about if these women had not have told them to me. Um, and also having the sense of community, it like feeds your spirit to know that you're not alone. It was really my first experience with like, there are places where people like me can get together and talk and be in science and not be also the token black woman in the room. Also stating the importance of diversity. Because there are different perspectives from everybody across all walks, all walks of life. And there is history there and understanding of different facets of life that if science is monolithic, you can't have you know, diversity in thought if you don't have diversity in people. In January, they finally met during their first conference. 91 women came from six countries with their travel and attendance paid for. The university donating space, personnel, and food to help make it happen. And my hope is that we can really help change science that we can provide a community that can help bring women into these spaces where they've traditionally not been welcomed and also help prepare these women for those spaces. It's, it's sort of a two-way street. From like a theoretical point of view, I see it as like us changing the face of science, but from like a on the ground thing, you know, I see us having more events. I see us connecting more. I see us growing. I see us doing more outreach. And if you ask her why others should consider awesome. science. Because it's awesome. Because <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, I get paid to play with corals all the time, right? Our work is actually helping coral reefs, which is a human issue. It's not just a animal issue, but it's a human issue. So being able to contribute to that um, for me is worth it. Reporting in Miami, Brandi Campbell, Fox Weather. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.